morning. <clears throat> Let's do a tobacco review. I'm gonna talk about Samuel Gawith Canon Black. Here it is. by the reviews most people hate it I love it the opinions are rather polarized as you might expect can I say? It's made of Virginius, apparently. But there is no dark fired leaf in it. Like uh, in Bosom Black or Constant Cut Black. Strength is uh, around medium mark. The base, the backers are somewhat similar to Kendo Black. Even for Virginia Black. Now, the flavor. I think it is the most pungent of all Lakelands. Do not like Lakelands, stay away from it. If you have any doubts whether to try it or not, do not try it.
very perfumey. I don't know if I can even call it floral. Strange, weird. Yet familiar, but uh, unexplainable. People say Cheviot or uh, Honeydew or uh, Patchouli, whatever these things might be. I have no clue. It will most definitely ghost your pipe. I don't mind the ghost. I like it. Plus, uh, it won't last that long. I mean, after a couple of bowls of nightcap, it will be gone. The flavors stay in your mouth long after you finish the pipe. Bear that in mind. It's rather smooth. But don't push it. It's Virginia after all. like all blocks you've got to sip it no acrid taste towards the end no ashiness no goopy puddle at the bottom of the bowl Flavor holds throughout the smoke. Not much change, if at all. Perhaps uh, it is slightly stronger in the first quarter, but overall still the same, right to the very bottom. The Virginias are rich. Remind me of um, Gendo Black. What else can I say? Is a unique tobacco, like all Gawith and Hogarth blends, or Samuel Gawith blends. It has its own characteristics. What I mean is, like with the Black Irish twist, you smoke it once and you never mistaken it for anything else. This is exactly the same. Same with 1792 or Boston Park or Coniston. Most of their blends 
are unique. That's all I think. Enjoy your smokes. Goodbye.